Hi there, my fellow people. I don't know how to do introductions because I'm pretty bad at everything in my life. But today, I finally decided that I'm going to try to do another video because I haven't done one in a while. And actually, my plan was I was going to do a theory video of Detective Pikachu, but I kind of got lazy and I didn't finish editing it before the movie came out, so I decided not to do it. I had the whole thing done. I had the whole thing scripted, recorded. I just need to edit it, and I just let it sit there for like two months, and I didn't do anything about it. So that was completely my fault. So instead, so instead today I'm going to do a um. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a more simple video I'm just gonna review something that I bought off Amazon and what it is is okay it's actually not heavy but it is pretty big it is the complete box set of Claymore so as you can see this this motherfucker is actually pretty big and it says right there uh, Claymore complete box set includes the complete series volumes 1 to 27 and bonus illustration book which I didn't realize was in here at first I opened this up and I didn't realize it was in there but it's in there tucked away in the corner. This is actually a really nice fancy box. It's only it's made out of like cardboard. It's not it's not like it's made out of like metal or anything really cool cuz that would be super expensive otherwise. I actually got this on sale on Amazon. It was um 100 and I think $80 Canadian, so that's like $2 American. The box included plus the illustration book with all 27 volumes for 180 bucks and whatever the tax was. I don't know what math is, but that's like, what, like six bucks per book, basically, for this thing? I That was a deal I couldn't pass up. I was gonna, I was kinda like, humming and hawing. I was, I didn't really know if I wanted to buy this or not, because I absolutely love Claymore, but for some strange reason, I've never bought any of the volumes, and that's probably one of the reasons why I did buy this, because if I had any of the other volumes, I probably wouldn't have spent the money getting the whole box. It was just such a good deal, and I think there was only like, a few left on Amazon so I decided that like I can't pass it up it's like less than $200 for almost 30 volumes which is pretty good so let's open this sucker up and show you what's inside oh, that velcro is really strong and I'm afraid to like rip it open and pull something apart so let's see if I can get this on screen so here you can see all 27 volumes 1 to 27 and the little art book right in there which i missed the first time i didn't realize it was in here and then you got a picture of claire which i think is from the first chapter if i'm not mistaken and then you got like some little hands there with the little velcro where the velcro goes it's a really nice box actually even though it's only made out of cardboard it's still it's still pretty sturdy and it's really nice i'm not in my room my room is still being done because the house isn't finished yet so i'm not entirely sure if I want to put these on a shelf or leave them in a box because I, I would like because I would like to kind of like Display them instead of having the box somewhere So I might just keep the box out and put these on a shelf But yeah, it's all 27 volumes for like a really good deal So if you can find it on Amazon for the same price uh, and if you really like Claymore I suggest you get it because like you can't go wrong with that like like just pulling out like the first volume on the back It says it's $13 Canadian so I basically essentially got these for half off, including the box, including the little art book. There's something I noticed when I was uh, looking through these, because I kind of just grabbed like the last volume of Claymore kind of thing and just looked at it. And then I looked to the back and I don't want to show this because I do want to like not get in trouble by YouTube. Um, but there's a naked woman on the back with her nipples showing. Claymore isn't like for all ages it says it's on the back it says it's rated t plus like viz media likes to rate their things like that it's t plus is like 16 older you can have some nudity in there which claimer definitely does have nudity in here but for a book that could be that's that i don't think because even though it comes in the box i don't think it's is packaged in plastic like some other manga are if it's for adults only i don't think these are when you go to a uh, a bookstore because they're not rated like mature they're not for adults only they're for older teens but even then even if a book is for adults on only like especially here in canada i i seriously don't think that they show any sort of nudity on the covers or anything but yet you have on here something that's published by viz media 
has a a woman who's kind of bent over and like her boobs are hanging and her nipples are showing just slapped on the back of the cover that's kind of weird that's kind of funny i think but yeah so here's the illustration book it's just a very small book it says here on the inside it says the illustrations in this collection originally appeared on the cases of the japanese editions of claymore graphic novels they have never before been released in any english language publication Drawn over the span of a dozen years, they present a beautiful record of the evolution of Norihiro, Norihiro Yagi's art. Because I can't speak at all. So what that means for those who don't know is that the Japanese books, that like the original manga volumes that you can get from Japan, and uh, just so you know, I don't actually read or speak Japanese. I am learning. I uh, I buy these because I plan to do like reviews of certain uh, manga if I ever get around to it and I feel like um, if I review a, a manga I should at least buy one volume of it and that's why I have it also I am like I like I said I am learning Japanese so hopefully I'll be able to read these one day what the um, original uh, manga volumes what they have is that they have a dust sleeve on these every single every single manga has a uh, dust sleeve that comes with it and on the inside is usually a picture. Now, I, now this one has the exact same picture as the front and on the back. So it kind of sucks because so usually there's actually a kind of like uh, a little hidden drawing on here. Like I grabbed Beastars Volume 10 randomly. I was going to pick Maiden Abyss Volume 7, but then when I opened it up, it on both the inside and on the front and the back cover had pictures of boobs on there so I can't really show you but like for B stars it has like a little it has like a little comic on the back and then the on or on the front and on the back it just has like some writing on there so some of them are just kind of like little kind of like doodles little comic little things sometimes um, or sometimes it's literally just the cover reprinted on the uh, on the front of the book kind of sucks it's kind of lame because some of them because like i said some volumes like main the base has some just goddamn motorcycles but like i said like there's like some volumes like made in the base have secret little doodles that won't appear anywhere else but on those covers and it's kind of cool so you can like see that and be like oh like that's only something you can get with the japanese manga volumes so this is the illustrations of all those like inside and outside co uh covers of the um, of the original graph novel, so that's really cool. Oh, and immediately there's nudity on here. Like it's just like two naked people. So I can't show that. Okay, I think I can. This one I can definitely show. So you got like you got Claire's face. I don't even know who this lady is. Um, it's been a while since I have read Claymore, but I'm pretty sure you're not a character that's ever seen in Claymore. I don't think, unless she's like from right at the beginning, but I can't remember. That one's nudity. That's also nudity. More nudity. I don't even know who some of these characters are. I think they're just random drawings. You would think for the last volume that both the drawings for like the front and back case will be related to Claymore, but there's just this random naked lady on here that I don't think has anything to do with Claymore at all. But that's really cool. I like that. And it just, it just shows off the illustrations that never before would you've been able to see for the English edition. So that's it's super dope. I actually really like this. So a little bit about Claymore itself. I'm going to, because this wasn't really supposed to be like a manga review for Claymore. It's just kind of like a box set review kind of thing. But I'm just going to speak a little bit about it because I do actually really, really like Claymore. Back in the day, what I used to do was that I would go to like a convenience store or a grocery store and on, in their magazine section, they would actually have monthly Shonen Jumps. It's like the English version of Jump. And they will usually have like two to sometimes three not usually but it's usually only two chapters of each manga that they had in there so they had like naruto bleach one piece for a while they had dragon ball z they had Yu Gi Oh. they switched them in and out and i can't show them because they're packed away somewhere they're gone i don't know they're not gone but they're just packed away so i can't pull them out but like my the first one i ever got was back in 1999 when i was like six my dad bought it for me and ever since then i started buying them but then I kind of just like, once I found out I can just read them online, I kind of stopped buying them. And then after a while, like, I like you, I can't find them anymore. Like, I could go to any convenience store or any grocery store. And I didn't think grocery stores even have a magazine section anymore, but they used to be there. And I, that's where I used to buy them, but now you can't even 
buy them there anymore. So, and now I kind of just read everything online. But I remember in one of the uh, Shonen Jumps is that they actually had a um, preview chapter. They had like the first chapter of Claymore in there for a preview. And because um, they used to do this, like they did this for Gintama. I'm pretty sure like Gintama would never, I don't think from the ones I have anyways, I don't think it ever went into serialization in the monthly Shonen Jump. It could have. I can't remember. It's been so long since I looked through them, but I'm pretty sure like I know D Gray Man was like, they had like the first chapter and like, oh, here's this new English translation manga. They And they did one for Claymore and I, and I read it there. It really caught my interest. And eventually later on, I found out that you can read shit online, right? So I, and I started reading Claymore and I uh, absolutely love this thing. But basically Claymore, for those who don't know, it's dark fantasy and I know like a lot of people like to um, when they talk about dark fantasy they talk about Berserk and Claymore those are like the two that uh, people talk about a lot and this one this one is definitely it is dark fantasy it's not to the point of like super rapey there is gore in here but it's not like to the point of like something you would expect in Berserk or like Ubo Blatt or um, even like Goblin Slayer there's there is blood there is if I can remember, there is one rape scene in, in here, um, but it's like really prevalent to the story and it, it basically causes the entire story of this actually. The whole reason why Claire is doing all this stuff. It, it didn't happen to her, it happened to someone else, but it basically caused all this chain of events that led to the entire series of Claymore. But I know people like to put this up high on the pedestal of dark fantasy because it is really good but if you're going to read this and you're expecting like really dark hardcore shit like this probably won't give you what you want necessarily it, it won't give you like the super dark stuff like berserk does like there are really dark moments in here especially at the beginning and there is gore there is nudity and stuff like that it doesn't get to the point where it's like super depressing like something like berserk is this is more of an action-based series the um it's more it's definitely more shonen than it is senin and that's what it main focuses on like it has it's got the dark fantasy aspects of it but it's definitely more like fight 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 if we're going to go fight these monsters instead of like oh my god bad shit is happening but i absolutely love this manga series and yeah i did hesitate at buying the whole box set and like i said if i if i bought any of the other volumes before this i don't know why i never did i just never got around to buying any of the volumes so if i had like any of the other volumes on this i probably wouldn't have bought the box set because it's like well why would i why would i spend like 200 dollars on getting these even though that's still like that's such a good deal why would i spend 200 dollars if i had like say the first 10 volumes or something it just didn't seem like worth it but since i didn't have any of the volumes it was such a good deal and uh, i think um if you're a fan of claymore and if you can find it on amazon or wherever i think it's definitely a good choice a good thing to pick up anyways like just looking at the box like the box is just it's so nice to look at and and like i said like i don't know what my setup is going to be in my room when it's finished but i would pro most likely keep the volumes out and put them on a shelf so i can display them somewhere and then i'll just keep the box out and put it somewhere else or it, it depends on the room my room situation like how much room i have on my shelves or whatever but i think I and mean, so i might just keep these in the in the box itself because like because i can just open it I don't want to rip it open, I just want to open it and then just grab a volume or whatever, or just show it off in general. Alright, so that's my really shitty review of the Claymore box set, because I had no plan on how I was going to do this at all. I was just kind of like, fuck it, turn on the camera, because I haven't done a video in forever. So, but that's, that's my shitty review. Yay. So, if you like this review... Um, which I don't know why you would because it was kind of crap unless I edit it out and it becomes really good And that's the difference I guess, but uh, if you liked it, um, please uh, leave a like um, or not Or dislike it maybe because I mean either way I think that helps no matter what because it gains because YouTube only cares about if people click on a button or not leave a comment I guess maybe I don't know do YouTube stuff Possibly. I'm really bad at doing intros and outros, in case you haven't noticed. Just leave so I can turn off the camera, goddammit.